So what are you guys? We are the Sparkwood family. All right, so let's do an exercise of vectors where we look at, say, Thales' theorem. OK? Uh, and that's a famous Greek theorem that basically says if you take some circle guy like this and we pick some diameter, it could be anywhere. I'm just going to pick one nicely here. And we and make this the center course. And we pick some random point in the circle. And we join one end of the diameter to that point to the other end like this. Okay? That the angle formed in here is always 90 degrees. Okay, so again, you could do this with just plain geometry. But what we want to do here is just practice vector methods. Okay? So a key thing here is pick a good coordinate system. So you could do whatever you want. But I think the sense the setup is nice. I mean, why don't we just pick this to be 0, 0. And like life is easy because you know these are radii. So their length is going to be, say, r. So the coordinates here would be r0 and negative r0. Okay? This guy we're just going to arbitrarily call ab. OK, and we're almost done, believe it or not. So what we need to do is um, make some vectors up. So I'm going to start from here and go to here and make this a vector. And then maybe start from here and go to there and make this a vector. OK, you don't have to do that. Of course, you can have the arrows going different directions. It's fine, because when you look for th these guys being perpendicular, it doesn't matter whether they're going this way or that way, they're still going to be perpendicular. OK, so we just arbitrarily pick the directions here. Um, let's just name them. So this vector here, what's it going to be? be well, where you end up minus where you start. So a minus r, right? And then this guy is going to be b minus 0. OK, so that's our vector here. Maybe I should color code this. OK, so a minus r, b minus 0. OK, no big deal. And then let's go for this guy. So maybe this guy. We're going to do the same technique. So this guy is going to be where you end up is a and b. Where you start is minus r and 0. So it's going to be a minus negative r, right, comma um, b minus 0. OK, so just b. And then let's clean this up. So this is going to be a plus r and b. OK. Um, and I think that's it. I think we're good. So all we have to show is that this guy right here and this guy are perpendicular. OK, but you know how to do that. You take the dot product. So we'll do that. Let's take the dot product of these two guys. So a plus r b dot producted with a minus r b. This guy is going to be, I guess, this term times that term. So it's going to be a squared minus r squared, right? plus this term times that term, which is b squared. OK, so here we go. Got this set up. Uh, is there anything else we can do? Well, so obviously you want to know if this guy is equal to 0, right? The problem is r is a fixed number, but a and b is our arbitrary. So we don't really know that much. We need more information. We're almost there. But in order to show this is 0, because we really don't know, we need more information about a and b or how they relate to r. So I think one other thing is we've got one more radius. Let's take this one. Okay? And this vector, let's rename him. Let's make him the blue vector, actually. Let's call him, well, this is easy, a and b, 0 and 0. So I guess this vector is a comma b. OK. All right. But the length of a comma b is also what? r, because this is a radius. OK, okay so um, just a five second recap. We needed to connect between r, which is a fixed number, and a and b, which were arbitrary. In this case, because we knew ab was the endpoint of a radius, we do have that connect. So we know that the magnitude of the sky, so the magnitude of ab right, is going to be r. But we also know the magnitude of ab is a squared right, plus b squared square root. And that's going to be what? r. OK. Not too bad, right? OK, so let's work this. So this equation gives us, we'll square both sides. a squared plus b squared is r squared. And now it's a piece of cake, because a squared plus b squared is r squared. So this ends up being minus r squared plus r squared, right? Maybe we should draw it like this. And you know that's going to be 0. OK. So that's it. So that's it. So using just three vectors, or actually two vectors, and the fact that this guy is the endpoint of a radius, uh, gives it to us. So again, vector methods uh, used for stuff like this.